good morning today I want you to have a chat about multimeters do you get an auto ranging one or a manual ranging one let's check the voltage of a battery let's do this small cell here straight away it comes up 1.57 volts no problem now let's try the resistor let's put it round to resistance let's try this one 2.98k and another one 0.98k 1k in other words now let's try the other meter let's put it on voltage Yep, 1.6, but it takes it a second or two to get there. Let's go to resistance. As you can see, it says OL, which is over limit, because obviously it's not actually checking anything. Let's give it this resistor. See, it's thinking about it. 0.992K. And this one, zero, let's thinking, 2.98k. My point being, with an auto ranging meter like this one, it takes it a couple of seconds before it actually tells you the value of what it is that it's measuring. Whereas the manual configuration meter tells you instantly what it is. Each one has its own use and function, but as you can clearly see, they are basically the same meter. I'm going to guess with a different chip inside it. One's auto ranging and one isn't. My main meter is an auto ranging one, but for smaller things, I do prefer the manual ranging one. Again, it's your choice. These both cost under twenty pound each. And as usual, thank you for watching, and please support the channel. Buy me a coffee.